one, take 57. <laughs> Right guys, welcome back to Kick Car Direct and MK Sports Cars. We're here at the awesome Blyton Park. Um, it's the CKC track day, which we said we had run this event. Well, we've done it for the last few years, actually. We've done events ourselves as well. And there's a dozen MKs here. And you know what? I'm going to head over and talk through a couple of them. What we've got here is James's car, killer car, Indy RR, big booster. Um, what's this kicking out? Two... 200 at the wheels. 200 at the wheels. That's, that's going to get your attention, isn't it? 200 wheels, actually super clean job really tidy car red and black gotta say killer combination having fun today james yeah great fun james having fun yeah. few <laughs> few good tweaks weather. good weather good friends good <laughs> just need beer <laughs> so here we are with the famous mr steggles yes big booster again both of these are rlm engines aren't they yep. both rlm engines kicking out 238 238 the eight makes a difference um, yeah, Keller car, you've probably seen this all over socials over the years, been at the Stoney show on the stand many, many times this car as well. Um, I, I couldn't even list how many mods Mark's done to this. Yeah. A lot. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> so here, yeah, familiar face to us all. CBR 1000 RR, the car we built uh, for Ben. Uh, oh, it's probably well over a year ago now. Um, it's just had an engine refresh in it as well, so he's out today, turning out the strip. He's got his new slicks on, plenty of stones on them, but yeah, he's having a blast. You probably remember this one, it was up for sale with us, uh, another CBR 1000 RR as well. Uh, Calvin's car now, um, one owner builder this was, this was Dan's car originally. Um, again, on slicks, uh, tearing it up, thousands go really well, make a lot of noise, it's good bang for buck. And then we are Mr Ford's car, Mr Michael Ford um, Mazda RX-5 Turbo. I think he's got about 230 now, 230 brake, going really well. He's starting to get the car dialed in now. He had some reliability issues, he's dialed all of them out now. Actually, black and gold, a bit like John's car here with the blue and gold, really killer combination. So yeah, Dave Glazier, one of our standard RX-5s, his first ever track day today. Um, got his screen on there, he's got his nice padded seats, and I've never seen a guy, apart from Richard Evans, who's next, smiling so much on a track day, and he's having an absolute blast. So just shows you can use them on the road, or use them on track. And Richard was stand with us the other week getting his car set up. Richard's smiling behind. <laughs> He's loving it. Um, he's going to go for his IVS. It's a bit of a shakedown day for him. So yeah, standard RX5 1.8 engine. Um, he's getting the car dialed in on, on track and uh, yeah, using it what it's meant for as well. John Castle, you probably remember this. S2000 car. Uh, killer combination in this, oh, I've got to say the cabby blue and gold. Looks great now. He's done so many mods to this car. I couldn't list it even if I wanted to. Um, he's on slicks as well, um, going really, really well. A couple of technical issues that he's tuning this car in a little bit, but yeah, looks nice with the gold. I think you agree. James's car, what a car. S2000 build, we featured this the other week. He was down at Setterdon, so it's an RX-5, all Mazda running gear. The uh, Awesome S2000 engine. Um, red and, I mean, I, I just, it's hard to pick a color, isn't it, these days? What color combination? They all look great, but it's something different. We don't see red and white very often. So great, and then we're on to, whose is this? Ben's. Ben's, I couldn't remember who it was. I nearly know all the customers. Ben's got an R1, is it a uh, 4CA in this one? Couldn't remember which one it is in it. Yeah, 4CA, um, he's just drove down. You don't live that far, do you, Ben? Hour. Hour away, have a little blast. 38 mil cage, um, again. And then we're Mr. Fowler, my hero. <laughs> my driving hero. So I got Indy RR. Uh, stock booster, this has had its head kicked in more than any other track car that I know actually. <laughs> but it's good, isn't it? It's, it's, good. it's been very, very good. And if you didn't know, Nick, the legend, drives with this. Um, it's absolutely awesome what Nick does in this on big slicks. And if you ever get in that passenger seat with him, you'll scare your senses, I'm sure. So that's the 12 lineup today, guys. Um, and what we do, we catch up and look down the pit lane.
Hi guys. You have got life insurance, have you? I have got <laughs> life insurance. <laughs> Am I going to need life insurance, Rich? Probably. Right, so we're in on uh, RLM huh, Booster Power 2A brake with the uh, whew, amazing and talented Mr. Richard Webb driving. So we're going to see what this, uh, this bad boy does. Is it Caitlin MS3? Chassis? Yeah. Stop. Imperial, Imperial chassis. chassis. So, wish me luck, wish me luck. Fastest car I've been in, by a mile, by a mile. I mean, my foot, a couple of times, tried to find the centre brake pedal, but... <laughs> breaking a little on the leg side. <laughs> he 122 down the back straight, and he's whack on the brakes, yeah, on the harness, but, man, that, that engine's got so much grunt in it. Yeah. Uh, it's just brutal, brutal. Yeah, I mean, we were driving it then with auto upshift because I struggled here on the small circuit, we're trying to catch the gears quick enough. Uh, it's on an automatic, yeah. And all made like it. It's got cruise control as well if you uh, take oh, it out on the road. I'll tell you what, <laughs> that was a roller coaster ride on four wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Pleasure. Cheers, buddy. Right, nice mate. one.
was like, when you overtake people as well, it's just... Right guys, so we're here at Blyton Park still and we're here with Dominic's, well, striker. We've, uh, what have we got in here, Dominic? Just tell us a bit about your car. Okay, it's, uh, it's a Richard Rago mix C-Tech. It's cool. got forged internals, headwork, cams, etc. It's producing 242 at the flywheel. 242 at fly, it'll uh, be lively. It's not bad, it's <laughs> not bad. Gearbox? Gearbox is Savvy's six-speed sequential. Okay, diff? Uh, Titan limited slip diff. Limited slip diff, and we've got we've got the old. Yeah, we've got the Geartronics flappy paddles on it. Geartronics well. flappy paddles. Look. Between sticks, so I can use the stick or paddles. So on the road, awesome. the, the stick works much better. Yep. For lower revs, but when you're up on salt, this just slick as anything. Right, and as good as a bike engine box. And um, what's its boots? What we running? I'm going to oh. run. These, these are Kumo slicks for track use, and I, I run Avon uh, ZZS for the road and wet, awesome. wet track as well. Like the colour, just like our demonstrator, looks killer, but with a cage, which adds a little bit of safety element, shall we say, a bit of a protection as well. It brings the car together as well, the striker. Particularly with this classic chassis, it just brings the, the car together. Yeah, this is a classic, you can tell by the classic by this panel here. The aero is a one-piece scuttle, so it's all inboard suspension. Should we pop the hood and have a look? Yeah, of course. Pop the hood. Let's see what she's got under here. Oh, she's pretty. So the classic retro cam cover under here. Oh, it's full of bodies. Yeah. Yep. It's got all the gear. Yep. All the trick bits. And then there's the three, there's three coolers. There's the radiator, the oil cooler for the engine, and then there's the oil cooler at the bottom, which is for the gearbox. And that's the big pump for it, which pumps the oil on the gearbox. Awesome. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to be lucky enough, Dom's going to let me take me for a little run out in Brighton Park. And do you know what? I'll give you the feedback when I get back. Now, if it's doing that, I know it will be, but it's whether my nerves will take it. But let's jump in the passenger seat and have a go. Right guys, Blighton Park, what a day. Sunshine shone all day, which makes all the difference to these kind of days. As I say, whether it's your first track day event or you're an experienced track dayer, come along to the CKC guys, awesome time. Um, it's just great in the paddock, great bit of banter. Hope you enjoyed some of the onboard footage, which I tried to get with uh, Rich's car. But it was so fast, I was trying to talk for it all, as well as Dominic's car, some great onboard footage. And you know, seeing a dozen MK pluses here was awesome as well. So Blighton Park, 10 out of 10, what a day, fantastic. And do you know what? Don't forget to like, share, and we'll catch you next week.